Hello and welcome to Raj Sabha TV. You watching India Fights Back with your host Rajat Kane. Well, in this episode, we'll discuss what all we need to do so as to keep this pandemic at bay. Hundred days, the following hundred to one twenty odd days are extremely crucial, says a lot of experts who have been assessing the COVID. Um, situation across the country as we have seen there are several states whereby the positivity rate continues to be on the higher side thereby alerting the administration and of course even leaders have been urging members of public to take all necessary precautions as much as possible so what all we need to do in these 100 days or to say 120 or days that spans at least 3 to 4 months what are precautions we need to take how much it's important to have vaccination. Now, vaccination in itself is quite a huge subject that we have been seeing across the country with a lot of people now going for vaccination. Parallelly, there is, although in a, uh, in, in a smaller way, the vaccine hesitation is still persisting among some groups. So how that can be addressed and what needs to be done? So we... To discuss further on this issue, we join with panel of two guests. Uh, Professor Y.K. Gupta he is member of National Expert Group on Vaccine Administration. Many thanks, uh, Professor Y.K. Gupta, for joining us. And Dr. D.K. Gupta, he is chairman of Felix Hospital. Many thanks, uh, Dr. D.K. Gupta, for being part of the show. Let me start with you, uh, Professor Y.K. Gupta. Sir, at the outset, what all we need to do if we just broadly see the situation that is prevailing across the country in terms of numbers, the positivity rate, and of course, vying for vaccination. I would say that for today's containment of, uh, of the COVID-19, which we have very successfully have come down to a level which is now a bit not less, a bit less worrying, Mm -hmm. But still, there should be full caution. And right. I would say number one is the vaccination. The advice to each and every citizen of the country is get vaccination done as and when available to you. Mm -hmm. If you are eligible for that. B, that do not think that the vaccine has any problem or any serious adverse reaction or it can produce anything which has been publicized wrongly that it can give this it can produce impotency it can give infertility and all those things no hmm. so do not believe in myths do not believe in rumors right. and whenever you are in doubt please talk to the doctor or write to us number three People are still debating and that creates hesitancy of oh, what is there in vaccine even after giving one vaccine or even after two vaccines people are getting COVID infection. So to message to them must go that vaccine does not mean no vaccine on the earth can produce a hundred percent protection. Absolutely. Yeah. hundred percent guarantee. Therefore there could be a possibility of some people getting infection. But must remember that the COVID and Covishield vaccine, both when given two times, mm -hmm. means one at the first dose and second dose at an appropriate interval, four weeks for Covaxin and maybe six, eight weeks for Covishield, this has reduced the rate of death by 95 percent. Mm -hmm. And those who got the COVID vaccine, one even one shot, the death rate could be reduced to 80 percent. OK. Not only that, those who get the COVID infection and have vaccinated, the severity or seriousness of the infection is much less, meaning thereby that if they get infection, the hospitalization requirement, the need for ventilator, the need for oxygen is much, much less. And the future complication is much less. Therefore, one important message is do vaccination 
ask people to get vaccination around you and trust the vaccines which are available to you. If right. any adverse event, adverse effect happens to anybody, please report because mm -hmm. there is an AEFI adverse event after immunization system, mm -hmm. which is very strong, which collects, which collate, and then we can know that what type of reactions are happening, whether that reaction or adverse event are related to vaccine, or it can be related to COVID infection, or it can be related to any other comorbidity. So this mm -hmm. is very important, and of course, Dr. Gupta, Dr. D.K. Gupta will highlight more on this. Right, right. Many thanks, uh, Professor. We'll just come back to you. Uh, uh, Dr. D.K. Gupta, sir, you know, as we just heard from Professor Vaikan Gupta, you know, how it's highly essential to have vaccination done. Uh, so, I mean, in terms of the vaccination, do you feel that there is possibly, there is a possibility to at least revise uh, the gap between the two vaccinations? I mean, the uh, period. I yeah, Professor Baike Gupta has explained a lot about the vaccination process and the benefits of the vaccine. Mm -hmm. And I will add, I think, few things in that also. And first, I will ask, ask, uh, question, uh, answer your question. I think there is no need to revise the gap. We have seen in different, different studies, like what should be the minimal, optimal gap to produce a substantial antibody level in a human being after giving two doses. If we keep interval, between 4 to 12 weeks, that is sufficient. It depends upon okay. the stage of the epidemic and uh, risk and benefit of the vaccines. Mm -hmm. Normally, it be used to keep it around 8 weeks. Mm -hmm. Eight week. But we have seen in studies for the COVID shield that after 12 weeks of uh, interval in two doses, there are antibody level protection was high as compared to for 8 weeks. And definitely, at this moment of time, there is no high risk also that mm -hmm. we should put two doses at a shorter time, shorter interval. Therefore, okay. we should follow the guidelines that we should give inoculation at four weeks for Covaxin and 12 weeks for Covaxin. Okay. And for Sputnik, it is 21 days. This is based on evidence-based and it is based on the data we have collected from several studies. We have given the vaccine and after them, what was the antibody level, level, what was the protection rate. Even we have seen after giving single shot, there are so many studies. Like we, we, there were one study conducted by PG Mara Chandigarh hmm. and the Punjab police personnel that after a single dose, there were 92 92% protection against death in COVID second wave in the, these police personnel and this the, it was 98 percent after two doses of even single dose protects you against death in covid even we have seen in second study that is conducted by icmr and tamil nadu we have seen that around 95 percent protection is after this covid vaccine right so there is a huge matlab, difference between a non-covid uh, non-vaccinated patient and vaccination vaccinated patient. I will add one more thing. We have just seen a, one more study that is the new vaccine, the, both the vaccine, Covishield and Covaxin, they are giving around 99% protection from death in case of Delta variant also. We were thinking that these vaccines may be a little less effective or there were several studies that they are mm -hmm. less effective, but it has been proven by one more study that this, these, both these vaccines are giving 99% protection against death in Delta variant also. And they are, after taking vaccination, the hospitalization rate is below 10%, it is around 9.4% only. So it means after so much data, so much evidence, we should conclude that the vaccines are the best right now. And whenever you get, you should get vaccinated as early as possible. We should aware public regarding the benefits of the vaccine. I think there is a whole lot of hesitancy as mm -hmm. Dr. Gupta type. We should tell them that if you are vaccinated, there are minimal chances of getting infection. And if it's still second for benefit, if you get back infection also, there will be less chances of developing severe disease. And third benefit, if you develop disease also, there will be lesser chances of developing complication and death. As you told that it gives around 99% protection against death. Fourth, if you are getting vaccine, you are helping in stopping the chain of transmission means you are helping in De not developing, not development of new variants or new mutations means we are stopping mutations by getting inoculation. Five, 
you if you are getting vaccinated it means you are contributing to the herd immunity and you are helping the nation also so th this is not for yourself only vaccination you are helping your family members yourself your colleagues and even nation by inoculating um, with the vaccine Right, right. Uh, that, that's very important, uh, Dr. Deek Gupta, as you mentioned that communication is ex of, of highly essential uh, issue here as we have seen with the vaccine hesitancy. A lot of hearsay at the same time there have been, you know, random statements about doctors and allopathy. So all these things should be dealt with uh, in terms, rather it should be dealt as misinformation and experts have come out and they have they've clearly you know, condemn such things. So, really thankful for, for that. And our viewers, if you're watching this show, it's really important to hear the experts, listen to experts, do not listen to hearsay. Nowadays, you know, we have, we have so many channels of communication and receiving information that it's really important to filter it out, that which information is correct information. Uh, Professor Viking Gupta, sir, as we keep hearing about, you know, the third wave, the possible third wave, so what are the hypotheses about third wave? And there are, there are some studies or at least a guesswork that it possibly may strike us around, say, April end. So, sorry, August end, I beg your pardon. So what is that minimal precaution that we have to take at least? Bhai, itna to karna hi hai hai. I think you have said very correctly and you have used word possible third wave. Mm -hmm. So this possible word means it can be there or it can be not it can not be there it can be with a minimum effect mm -hmm. or it can be with a severe effect why the third wave could be because of there is could be a possibility of a new variant coming up right and this variant may be less responsive to the vaccine mm -hmm. or this may be different communication means different virulence Communic communicability may be high or virulence may be high or may be less. We do not know. So, I will just go first to the vaccine. See, mm -hmm. fortunately, our vaccine are effective against the present mutation. And we have a platform technology for vaccine manufacturing mm -hmm. now that if there is any mutation takes place, Quickly, the production of vaccine can be altered and to take care of the mutant. So we are prepared for that. Now, when the third wave will possibly will come, why it will come? Because people, if you see the crowded place, if you see the hill stations, government is worried yeah. about this. Yeah. Every time your media and other media are showing pictures of restaurants, pictures Absolutely. of movie theaters. This is inviting suicidal third wave. Hmm. I can't suicidal because this is press, this is being precipitated by us. And therefore, there could be a large communicability of this and there can there can be third wave. When hmm. you say how can you prevent it? This is in our hand. Now we have reasonable, a good number of hospitals. There will be no dearth of beds. There will be no shortage of oxygen. There will be no shortage of medicines, but still the large number of patients which will come, it will be a problem. Mm -hmm. It can be avoided. Simple method. Get as and when possible, early as possible vaccination done. And then the phrase which is now become a common phrase for every citizen, everybody knows, but people do not practice. Wash your hand, keep safe distance, right. travel less. So these are the phrases which are written on every board. These are the these are remembered by even my grandson, grandchildren. Mm -hmm. They remember. They follow it more religiously, but when the adults people go to the market, they just forget about it. So that precaution is a must, and that precaution will be the containing containment uh, strategy for third wave so we have to be prepared third wave. absolutely we should yeah, see yeah. that it does not come right right uh dr niki gupta you know uh, in last week we have seen many visuals from the hill stations from tourist destinations of people thronging uh and throwing to toss basic norms of COVID appropriate behavior. How worrying those visuals were for you as a medical practitioner? I think the, 
visuals are definitely very disturbing to everybody, even for government and the public, because they are creating a nuisance and they are spreading the virus and they can be an active hotspot spread center for this virus for generating third wave. We are still struggling to control the second wave. Still, mm -hmm. we are getting around 40,000 cases per day, around 500 to 2,000 deaths per day. And still, there are so many districts, like there are, there are around 73 districts where case mm -hmm. positivity rate is around more than 10% out of this 47 districts are in Northeast. Their rest are in Kerala, Maharashtra. And these, we have, we are not have, we have not controlled the second wave. Still, like look, people are doing similar things that were have, we have done in February and March, and that was responsible for creating second wave tsunami. Similar things we are doing, and now I think we are very careless. The people are not following the COVID approved behavior. They are not following the SOPs. Government, state government, those who are accountable for implementing the SOPs for implementing COVID approved behavior, right. I think there needs something reinforcement also and i will tell you one more thing like there is a rapid increase in r value in last two weeks it yes. means the virus mm -hmm. replication is increasing in our society we will talk about that it is more than one percent in several states uh, it mm -hmm. is like initially it was around 0 0.7 8, 8, 2, 0 0.88 between 20th june to 7th july but now it is increased 0.95 across the india and in several states like kerala Northern state like Tripura, Natchal mm -hmm. Pradesh, Manipur, it is more than one. Means 100 people are infecting more than 100 people. Mm -hmm. It means the in infection is, is, is getting speed. Spread is getting speed. We had this is the high time we should control it. Otherwise, it will create third wave. It can create maybe in, in the end by the end of the July or in, in the mid mid of the August. Therefore, I think it is high time government should take care of it. Otherwise, we have to see the full lockdown if we want to avoid the full lockdown if we want to avoid shortage of blood beds shortage of oxygen shortage of infrastructure and definitely we should curtail these all activities whatever happening in across these uh, tourist places and i should also say that we should also condemn all dharmic uh, the ayojans like these kamade uh, atra or right. mandir masjid there are so many religious uh, gatherings are happening across the uh, India in different states. We have seen photos, pictures, videos in, on different channels. These all should be stopped with immediate effect without any delay or without any fail. Otherwise, it can happen. Uh, it can definitely create a new wave as soon as maybe within one month. And definitely it will be difficult to control for anybody. Absolutely. Even the Supreme Court, the highest court in the law of land uh, 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 of the country is also seized of the matter when it comes to crowding of, of places and of course like enforcing of COVID appropriate behavior so as to uh, keep the third wave or to say, you know, another spike in cases at bay. Uh, Professor Vaikin Gupta, sir, you know, uh, as, as we discuss more and more about important steps to be taken so as to keep ourselves safe and also you know locality around us safe uh you know how worrying is i'm i'm, I'm sorry to say that because it's it's really worrying uh the increase in or the rather you can say that i um, mean you know the hike in r naught or our number as we have seen especially in last couple of weeks i do not have the data of how you say the r number is increased or decrease mm -hmm. but the transmissibility of the virus is unpredictable and that depends on the mutant and its nature and therefore that is important to see and that's why the sequencing is being done and mm -hmm. that will may provide some answer to that and maybe dr dk may answer it maybe. okay okay right 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 uh so okay. as we just uh, go about to the close of the show sir no you know we, we have been talking about the important step that needs to be taken so as to keep pandemic at bay and of course like keeping ourselves safe. Vaccination, one thing, COVID appropriate behavior, one thing, essentially, as we have seen a lot of overcrowding of tourist places, uh, I mean, off late. Now, you know, as per the city spaces goes, you know, the precaution that needs to be taken while going out. If I ask one hypothetical question, Professor, you know, uh, if, 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 we live in a family. There is a there are there are few things that that we need to go and buy to the market. 
which person should go out to buy things which person you know would would be categorized as the safest person to go out in these times <laughs> I, i would say the safest person is like me mm -hmm. who has vaccinated right both vaccines and mm -hmm. have passed 3 months before okay and uh, i am sitting at a place where people are all vaccinated and are all but i always carry a mask mm -hmm. so whenever i go to the market i put a mask mm -hmm. the safest person would be a vaccinated mm -hmm. b vulnerable t c mm -hmm. is taking mask d it we is putting the social behavior in practice that means not crowding and then other thing is those shopkeepers are also using the same so the, that is the but i cannot say that who is the safest person so that, that's very that uh, professor it's, it's it's really important it's very important information that you have shared you know vaccinated and at the same time strictly following covid appropriate behavior of wearing face mask and maintaining sanitation rounds clearly that that is important and that is all we need to do even if somebody is vaccinated even by just by one jab they still need to take precautions that's what the expert says uh dr gupta sir you know as we just uh, going to close of the show uh, do we still need to pay attention to a certain age group or certain interest group of people so as to have complete confirmation of the safety in the in these times are they yeah, still have yes. yeah yeah i think this is the best question and definitely those who are not vaccinated those who are high risk of developing serious disease like patient who are having diabetes hypertension cardiac problem asthma copd lung tra renal transplant dialysis patient immunocompromised patient patient blood cancer or any other cancer patient any other hiv patients these patients are at high risk patient who are always obesity one of the highest risk factor mm -hmm. these patient needs to be very careful and if they are not vaccinated they should get early vaccine as early as possible and teenagers especially those who are not who are not received vaccine because they still we have not we had not any approval for the teenager vaccine 12 to 18 years those children who have not received back those who have not received the vaccine they should take care of also special children like those children they are having bronchitis okay. congenital heart disease sickle cell anemia thalassemia hiv dialysis patients so these patients should be taken care of elderly patient those who are having 65 plus they, their immune system is all definitely little bit slow so these patients should also be taken care of right right extremely important many thanks uh, professor uh, yk gupta many thanks uh, dr dk gupta for elucidating on this important aspect and of course like making our viewers watching this program aware of what needs to be done firstly get your shot even if it's one vaccination keep following covid appropriate behavior that's extremely essential so what are these covid appropriate behavior as an expert says keep wearing a face mask keep washing your hands maintain sanitation sanitization and do not forget to maintain physical distancing that these are small things that can help us in defeating the virus and of course in larger sphere the pandemic well many thanks to both our experts for joining us and that's it in this edition of indifights back thank you goodbye